This is the bunker barge. We are going to receive 1650 metric ton of fuel for our further voyage. guys welcome back to this another video on life at sea currently we are alongside in Tanjung Falafas that is in Malaysia lot of cargo operations are going on as you can see behind guys this is going to be the last port call of Asia for our ship's voyage after this we will set to sail to Europe on this port lot of things are going to happen like provisions fuel bunkering we are going to receive lot of spare parts for our machineries spare part for reefers reefer loading unloading cargo loading and unloading and many more things are going to happen as per the information we will be bunkering 1650 metric ton of fuel so in this video i'm going to show you everything about bunkering process and how we take bunkering what are the process and precautions and steps that we have to be taken before starting this operation and chief engineer is the key responsible of this operation he is in charge of this operation so before arrived in this port chief engineer has conducted a bunker meeting in that meeting he explained all crew that what are the actions that need to be taken if anything goes wrong in the process like if there is any leak or oil spill then what are the actions that we need to be taken so this this meeting is very very important so that everybody can understand what are the steps what are the things that we have to do in case of any emergency on oil spill so this is going to be very very interesting so watch this video till the end so guys before starting the bunkering operation we need to make sure that all the fuel line has been set up correctly high level alarm tested and all scrappers are closed so guys today our ship is going to involve in bunkering operation if I say in simple words, we are going to refill fuel in her fuel tanks. Like us, we cannot work more without our food. Ship is also cannot sail further without fuel. So there are three or four kind of fuel that can be used in shipping. But have you ever thought that how we'll refill fuel in our fuel tanks? This is a bunker barge carrying marine fuel which can be used on ship so guys these fuels are properly tested for NOx and SOx emission as per the MARPOL standards so if you can see that black pipe this is the main pipe which is carrying fuel from the tanks this is a crane which is carrying this black color pipe or manifold which is connecting to our bunker manifold and guys right now this bunker barge is properly fastened to our ship if you can see those lines these are the mooring lines taken from this barge properly secured to the strongest point of the ship this from here you can have more closer view this pipe is connected to our bunker manifold there i will show you later from here you can see this is a accommodation of this bunker barge and uh, these are windows these are accommodation rooms here also they have a search light radars this flag and this main mast all these navigation lights if you can see here and here this is the funnel and there if you can see that is a free fall life port and this is rescue boat mooring lines so this is the strongest point of the ship and uh, these mooring lines are secured here you can see there
and guys there are four type of oil that can be used in shipping like one is diesel oil second one is hfo that is heavy fuel oil and then vlsfo that is very low sulfur fuel oil and ulsfo that is ultra low sulfur fuel oil so guys let's go up uh, there i will show you the bunker manifold which is on ship so i will show you how this big hose is connected to our bunker manifold this is the bunker manifold oh yeah we are lucky guy i found fourth engineer over here so we can directly ask him what are the things we do before start bunkering we are fourth engineer avin on board margaret mas so bunkering wait wait so ruko zara sabar karo bola dhakka bukki nahi karne ka aaram se lene ka ha yeah. okay mike very important okay so i'm fourth engineer praveen uh, man margaret musk and uh, i have uh, assistance from uh, motorman brian he's from philippines and uh, now currently we are doing bunkering in uh, singapore oh, sorry malaysia and uh, bunkering is a very important uh, operation on board a vessel where we take fuel from uh, a small ship which carries fuel so for preparation we always um, first go through our company's policies doing bunker checklist and everything and then we conduct the bunker meeting pre bunker meeting what we are going to take in which tank and everything and during bunker our small ship carrying the fuel will get alongside it and from our side we prepare everything these are all called sopep equipments uh, to prevent the oil from going on or uh, from on board to the water and we do this hose connection from the other ship to our ship through our manifold and uh, with this pipe the fuel is getting transferred into our vessel uh, okay praveen can you tell me how long it takes to fix this pipe to our bunker manifold yeah this pipes uh, our motormans on board any ships are professionals in fixing this pipe so that's why we always have their assistance and uh, fixing this pipe depends on how professional our motormans are it uh, hardly takes around uh, half an hour to one hour to fix this pipe tight fit everything and then we check with uh, leaks if any during bunker starting so this manifold when we are doing bunker operation will be always attended by one guy that will be the motorman who's here and uh, apart from pipe equipment stand by ready in case if there is any spillage happening here that we can contain on board so guys this is a weldon pump and uh, this soap pipe equipment that we have kept here as stand by in case of any oil spill somewhere around here then immediately using weldon pump and sub soap pipe equipment we can contain the oil spill on board we have prepared this fire hose and this uh, fire extinguisher so guys uh, as i have mentioned to you before like uh, we are going to bunker 1650 metric ton of fuel so the question arises that how long it will take to complete this process so it always depend on the pumping capacity of the barge for example this barge is uh, able to pump 200 metric ton per hour right so more or less it is going to take 6 to 8 hours for pumping 1650 metric ton of fuel now i'm going to ship's office where chief engineer continuously monitoring the level of the fuel oil tanks and high level alarms this is the screen where we can easily monitor the level of the fuel oil tanks and pumping pressure from the barge and high level alarms fourth engineer has one more responsibility to take a sounding of the tanks this is done just to make sure and to get the exact values of the fuel tanks one term arises here that is a uh, cappuccino bunkering in this turns what happens these barges pumping fuel continuously after that to clear this pipe can you show this pipe to clear this pipe sometimes they blow air also so before blowing air they need to inform you that we are going to blow air to clean this pipe so if they don't inform you and they keep on blowing the air inside the tank so it will increase the level of the fuel tank 
it means it will create lot of bubbles inside the tank so when you go to take a sounding it will give you fake values so we need to be careful in this case so whenever they go for uh, blowing air inside the tanks they must inform us so that we can wait that duration and after that duration we can go and make a sounding so that we can get actual value of the fuel tank happy day for two girls because they are signing off today so can you speak two words it's the best feeling yet the most confusing because this was a home for six months yeah what about you ani i enjoyed my time that like home but i need to go back okay all the best for you guys happy vacation and safe journey like share and subscribe <laughs> yeah you can, you can speak speak like share and subscribe vivek is trying to do a good job so like share and subscribe support his channel thank yeah. you so much guys see you yeah. bye bye